two teams wearing black armbands in memory of Jeff Hall, the former England player. Jeff Hall, who died of polio. The two teams are going to be presented to the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Harold Macmillan. Mr. Macmillan in the centre, the front row. There's Bobby Evans, the Scottish captain, the great veteran. Brown, the goalkeeper, David Hurd. Now, Johnny Dick, the Scottish new cap from West Ham, one of the new men in the Scottish side. Two new players in the Scottish team, two players new to international honours. And finally to Bobby Collins, who's quite a veteran of international football. And over now to the greatest veteran of the lot, Billy Rice. And this is the moment when Wembley can pay its own personal tribute to Rice. Clayton. Flowers. Hopkins. Broadbent. Club made, of course, of Wright. Ryan Douglas back in the side after injury. Doug Holden, the one new cap in the England side. Haynes. Charlton. Shaw and finally Howe. Now the three officials for the game, all from Portugal. Mr. Campos, the referee, the two linesmen, Mr. Soares and Mr. Gouveia. So the stage is set for the 76th international between England and Scotland and 100,000 spectators here at Wembley and hard to believe that in 1872 when these countries first met there were just 2,000 spectators to watch the game. The referee and two linesmen rather naturally dressed, they've got black shorts and just khaki pullovers over their white shirts. years ago since 13 years ago rather since Billy Wright first played for England and his first cap was won on this same ground that he wins his hundredth Wright the England captain Evans the Scottish captain Scotland 
have won the toss. The wind is a diagonal wind and a strong one too, blowing from corner flag to corner flag and it will be behind Scotland in this first half. Scotland not beat England since 1951 when they won here by three goals to two. Since then England have won five, Scotland won none and two games have been drawn. So the scene is set for this 76th international between England and Scotland. England in the white shirts to kick off. And Scotland need only win this match to become the United Kingdom international champions for 1958-59. If they draw, they can be caught by Ireland who play Wales in Belfast on the 22nd of April. England kick off and the big international has started holding the England new cap. Touched the ball right at the start, getting the feel of it, getting his confidence. But both teams are likely to have quite a bit of trouble with this ground. There's a lot of rain on it on Thursday and it's quite soft on top and it's very slippery. And Holden being challenged by Mackay, the Scottish new cap into Charlton. Charlton a little slow that time. Shaw. Out to Douglas. And the ball very lively, skidding on the wet top surface. Douglas up a seven through the court bend. Throw to Scotland. Throw being taken by Kai. Two Mackays in the Scottish team, no relation to each other. Now Dick, one of the two Scottish new caps. Scotland's throw in now to Orman, and that's the pass that Dick likes, but it's how to cut it off. Broadbent. Number eight to Haynes. Doherty. Now it's up to Orman. Lots of room in which to work. Dick's move towards the left wing. So his Leggett's come over on this side too. Now, Charlton for England. The England inside forwards already interchanging positions quite a lot. Up to Holden. And that looks a corner to England. Holden of Bolton Wanderers played here twice for Bolton in Cup Finals in 1953 when they lost and last season when they won. Takes the corner for England. And another corner to England off Evans. The wind is swirling rather badly. Now Flowers has moved up. Out to Dick and Scotland move away. Orman. Leggett. Collins beat by Shaw, but that looks if it might be a corner for Scotland. And that shows you how slippery the top surface is. You notice divot cut up by Hopkinson as he pulled up quickly. Kai for the Dick, Doherty, Leggett, Heard moving across to get away from Wright, is right quick to the tackle and the referee and Mr. Campos has given a free kick to Scotland for a foul on Leggett just as he made that pass. Free kick being taken by Doherty as the great Scottish roar starts. Up 
to howl. There's Clayton. Douglas moving inside. Haynes, Douglas having to come back again. Orman to Collins, to Caldo, to Orman. Now Dick, Collins. Brilliant ball player Collins, cut off by Broadbent. Orman to Caldo. And a throw to Scotland. So to Scotland being taken by number six, David Mackay. The other Mackay is Duncan, the fullback, no relation. Playing the first time for Scotland and a wonderful throw to Ormond, but he won't reach it. It's a goal kick to England. Nice move by Mackay, caught the England defence on the hop. Doherty to Dick. Dick's the sort of man who loves to have a shot. Back with the England defence, a beautiful pass to Holden. And to Broadbent, to Charlton, to Haynes. And this is the England forward line clicking to Holden. And a goal kick to Scotland. Brilliant bit of football by the by four of the England forwards. Really split the Scottish defence. Right. Shaw to right, who's playing very, very deep. Playing behind his fullbacks. Lovely pass. Charlton. It's a lovely one to head. Collins is inside. Dick's moving up very, very quickly. There's Collins to Dick. And it's Schwarz in the way. That's Collins. Doherty. It's Charlton. Back in defence for him. to Broadbent and Charlton's breaking ground very very quickly on Broadbent's left there's Charlton Broadbent moving forward it's a lovely one to hold it now Haynes Doherty is there Holden well all Bolton fans will be shocked at that because they regard Holden is the meekest and mildest player who's probably never given the shell the charge in his life. Free kick to Scotland, that foul on Doherty. Haynes to Broadbent. Back to Haynes. Douglas. Charlton to Flyers. Clayton. Collins to Heard. Back to Collins and Leggett's in the middle. A dick. Collins. Buzz. That's 
Evans. Go to England and you can see those black marks, the divots which have been kicked up by the players. Shows how soft the ground is on top. A herd. Mr. Orman. A dangerous one from Flowers. And offside against Collins. No. The decision is a free kick against White for charging Herd. Scottish fans began to boo, thinking the free kick was for England. Mackay to Doherty. And to Herd. And Flowers moving it away to Holden. New cap being challenged by Duncan Mackay, another new cap. David Mackay to Collins, to Leggett, now Doherty, and offside against Dick. No score, ten minutes gone, up to Holden. Charlton, Broadbent's in the middle, Haynes is calling for it, calling for a back pass, and a corner to him. Three England inside forwards, interchanging position a lot, sometimes Charlton in the orthodox centre forward position, sometimes Broadbent, and sometimes nobody, and Holden with the corner for England. Haynes, but Mackay gets it turned. Right to Flowers. Now it's Collins. Collins number eight. To Heard. Heard moving around quite a lot. Keep away from right. Flowers to Broadbent. Caldo to Kai. Doherty Mackay again. A collision of heads. Douglas is a bit dazed at the moment. Kai showing commendable coolness for a newcomer to international football. Caldo. Now Doherty. Right getting to follow Hurd in Hurd's one Ricks and there's Hurd oh cutting that pass off forward now to Haynes Broadbits in the centre forward position so it goes to Charlton and a lovely move by Charlton that's upset the Scottish defence it's Holden and Evans gets it clear Collins Hurd to Ormond Number 11. Dick Collins. Now forward to Clayton. Broadbent. Clayton's moved up and forwards. Haynes hanging back. Charlton. There's Haynes. Clayton across to Charlton. Leggett forward to Herb. Good line, very deep. Shaw. Hold on, lucky to get away with that. Holden, Haynes, out to Douglas, to Holden, and nobody in the middle but Evans for Scotland, and Dr. Hurd, notice how deep Hurd's playing at centre forward for Scotland, 
Collins. What of an arc on England nil, Scotland nil. Mars with the throw. Charlton. And Holden has now gone outside right for England. It's Doherty coming through to Ormond. Douglas across to Flowers. Don't usually see Tommy Doherty do that. Now it's Haynes forward to Broadbent. Douglas has got Holden on his right. Broadbent offside. <laughs> Free kick to Scotland. Still nothing in the game at all. Haynes. Caldo forward to Ormond. He's been very quickly tackled each time by Howe. Holden to Howe. Broadbent. Ormond. Right as usual, getting up to a tremendous height. Now Charlton. Broadbent. Charlton and Holden's got to centre forward. Throw to Ingham. Taken by number nine, Charlton. Holden back to Charlton. Shaw, everybody in the Scottish half at the moment except Hopkinson, the England goalkeeper. It's Douglas who swapped wings with Holden for the moment. Flowers to Charlton, who's moved outside right. Bewildering the way England are changing their forward positions. And a goal kick to Scotland. <laughs> goal kick to Scotland, and the England wingers are going back to their original positions. Right to Broadbent. Throw to England. Holden with the throw to Broadbent. To Holden is onside. There's Charlton. Van Dyke Haynes. That ball skidding and twisting badly for him. And Dick roll back in defence. Ormond, Dick, Buster Collins, and Leggett, Heard, and right very quick in the tackle. Uh, Holden to Broadbent. Left is quite content to move out of the middle, follow Broadbent. A chance, a chance, but it's a goal. Play Scotland offside. Orban through to Mackay. A goal kick. in the back by Howe on Orban. It's a free kick to Scotland. Number three, Caldo. Going to take the free kick. And 
Mars gets it away with Doherty. Right now to Haynes. Charlton to Haynes. And both sides playing some very nice football indeed. Douglas. Haynes. Charlton, number nine. To hold it. Broadbent screaming for it. He must score now. And a great save by Brown. Well, Bill Brown, the Dundee goalkeeper, the man who wants to play in England, certainly made his name with that side. Corner to England. Douglas. And another brilliant catch by Brown. Up to Orban. Shaw. Penalised for that. Judge to a trip Ormond by the referee, Mr. Campos of Portugal, free kick to Scotland, Mackay to Collins. Through to Dick. The England players, of course, have got a tremendous amount to play for. Their places in the game on May the 6th here against Italy and then the tour to South America and the United States. Haynes to Holden to Broadbent and Evans. Now it's Clayton to Bars, but there's Collins on the scene now. A lovely one to Leggett if you can gather that. To Ormond. How to, and it's a free kick to Scotland and the England players looking completely amazed. So Clayton's tackle on Ormond is just a foul one. Free kick to Scotland. Kai going to take it. And a corner to Scotland. Twenty minutes gone, no score. Ormond with the corner for Scotland. It's up to Hayne. The referee has brought play back for a free kick to England, a foul on the goalkeeper Hopkins by Leggett. Doctor out to Orman. Caldo to Kai, Doherty, Leggett, back to the other Mackay, Duncan Mackay. It was very quick to see the danger in that one. Scottish wing halfbacks are reputed to be attacking wing halves, but they're certainly being well disciplined in this game. If Doherty goes up, Mackay stays back, and vice versa. Doherty with the throw for Scotland, now to Collins. Flowers to Haynes, and that's Broadbent moving off at speed. Douglas has come in the middle, goes to Charlton. And Caldo gives away a corner to him. Oh, 
very quick set that one out of Charlton Broadbent Lars Kai number six throw to Scotland only two members of the Scottish side played against England at Hampton Park last year when England won 4 0. There's one of them taking the throw now, Doherty. The other one is Epton. Seven of the England team today played last year at Hampton. There's one of Ditton Holden to Haynes. Broadbent to Charlton. Douglas. And corner kick of Calder. Twenty-five minutes gone, no score, and Douglas with the corner for England. Broadbent and a no kick to Scotland. Through to Charlton and the ball to Scotland. The lay is for Caldo, who is just tying his boot lace. So Brown, waiting till he's all right before he takes the goal kick. Caldo's all right. So it's Brown with the goal kick for Scotland. Douglas fouled by Caldo. Free kick to England. Free kick being taken by Howe. Flowers with the throw. Looks like it might be a long one. Collins and if Broadbent hadn't slipped that might have been a very dangerous back pass That's Haynes he seem to be getting on top now Douglas number seven and Evans gives away a corner Scottish defence being put to a lot of hard work now by the England forward line. Douglas with the corner. Right to how Good backing up, good covering by the England defence. Caldo to Kai. Across to Doherty. Scotland just telegraphing their passes a little too much, allowing the England backs and wing halves to move into the tackle be almost before the pass is made. Doherty to Duncan Mackay. Haynes to Charlton. Now it's Evans. Douglas. Douglas. Douglas to number eight, Broadbent. Right across to Charlton. Is Collins bobbing up everywhere through to Ormond? Dixon in the middle of the ball gets across and right happy to give away a corner. Leggett with the corner for 
Scotland. David Mackay to Oman. Throw to England. Clayton with the throw to Holden. David Mackay with the throw for Scotland. Clayton. Douglas into Holden. Charlton's now outside left. There's no one in the middle. Haynes now making ground to get in the middle. Scotland not moving forward with the same speed as England. They're using the square pass a lot and quite a lot of back passes too. Charlton. Holden. Half an hour gone. No score. Charlton. His position there shows you how fluid this England forward line is. Haynes. Douglas. Evans gets it away, but Clayton back. Now to Charlton. Clayton. Charlton. Goal kick to Scotland. Duncan Mackay. Throw to Scotland, taken by Leggett into Collins. Doherty. Duncan Mackay. Doherty. Collins doing well to get that one, but Clayton there, now Shaw. And Evans quick to spot the danger and move across to that one. England just that shade faster than Scotland at the moment. The Flyers. Bad one from Broadbent, now Doherty to Hurd. Away goes Leggett down the middle, a through pass will be tremendously dangerous. There's Leggett, out to Ormond. Dick. And the referee has spotted the handling offence. Free kick to Scotland. Going to be taken by... David Mackay or Orman, no, Orman number 11, and offside. up in the middle to Haynes but David Mackay now to Dick to Orman and how to Clayton to Charlton the ball swelling around a lot when it's in the air the wind is a very treacherous one almost like the Hampton wind Charlton to a Holden who got a man within 25 yards of him. Gorbent in the middle. Haynes is moving up quickly. 
Bad Bomben. Caldo, now to Dick, number 10. Inland, Haynes. And once again, Epp saves Scotland. To Collins, beautiful bit of football. To Doherty. Ormond's gone down the middle. There's Ormond, number 11. Lovely anticipation by Hopkins, six yards out of his goal to narrow the angle. Caldo, Wood and Doherty. Caldo again. And Clayton penalised for jump tackle on Collins. Anyway, whether you notice Collins rather cheekily applauding the referee and thanking him for the free kick. Doherty forward to Leggett. Herds unmarked on his right. And a goal kick to England. And after 35 minutes, there is no score. England nil, Scotland nil. To Holden, Charlton. Nice. Haynes. Douglas. Charlton. Dr. McKay, Dr. Now Charlton. So far, Charlton not been on the target with his shooting. Goal kick to Scotland, up now to Collins. The man that can scheme a Scottish victory. Throw to England. Holden to Flowers. Doherty, Leggett into Collins, Doherty, Holden on the scene for England, now up to Charlton, to Haynes, and Haynes tripped by David Mackay, Free kick to England, taken by Wright. Evans to Dick. Haynes back to Howe. Douglas. Haynes. Leggett getting it clear. How playing a very fine game indeed, a beautiful pass to Corbin. And the throw to England. Broadbent with the throw to Clayton. Back to Broadbent. The Charlton. Rather surprised he got that one, I think. Collins now up to Leggett. Leggett back to Collins to Orman. Dick to Orman. Clearance to Holden, Charlton, David Mackay on the scene then. Flowers to Broadbent, to the Haynes. Evans always seems to be in the right position. And Doherty to Leggett. So to Scotland. 
no, the referee has given a free kick to Scotland. Some of the England players are rather mystified at these decisions of free kicks for what look like shoulder charges. Now it's Haynes. Broadbent moving forward very, very quickly. And that's Doherty bringing Haynes down. Five minutes before half time, no score, and Fars with the free kick for England. Hold up. Dick. Go ahead. To Leggett. The other Scottish forwards not moving up quickly enough. And a foul. On Leggett by Shaw, free kick to Scotland. Free kick to Scotland, no score. And Collins is going to take the kick. And that one, smartly intercepted by Haynes up to Charlton. Now to Holden. Holden to Broadbent, to Douglas, there's Broadbent, and the referee has decided that that ball was over the line, so it's a goal kick to stop it. Broadbent, Holden. Quick tackle by David Mackay. Calder. Then we get to Collins. Leggett to Collins. Hurd has gone on the right wing. Doherty. And Hurd's unmarked on the right wing. And there's David Hurd. There too is right. Quick to spot the danger up to Haynes. Now Holden. Charlton moving very, very quickly inside. There's Charlton. But Brown. Caldo. Collins back to Caldo. Orman. Broadman. Charlton. Doherty. Number 11, Foreman. Hurd. And yes, Billy Wright has been penalised. Free kick to Scotland. Just about a minute and a half before half time. Ormond, the free kick for Scotland. Hopkinson did very well to get that ball as Scotland were appealing for a penalty for hands. Now Clayton appearing on the left wing. Hit by Evans. Up to Doherty. to Douglas, number seven. Lost to Clayton. Holden. Holden taking up position in space very, very well. 
Haynes and David Mackay gets it clear. Up to Collins. Almost half time now. Pass to Doherty. Now Leggett. And it's Shaw who comes away. Throw to England, Holden into Haynes, to Broadbent, Badman, Broadbent now Doherty, Doherty up to Leggett, and the whistle goes for half time with a score, England nil, Scotland nil. Scotland kick off for the second half with the score sheet blank. And away they go, 45 minutes from the end of this international now, no score. And if there aren't any goals in this match, it will be the first goalless draw between England and Scotland since the very first of these internationals in 1872. Uh, Charlton. Douglas, Charlton, he will be well to reach that, and it's David Mackay who brings it clear. Clayton, to Haynes, and a throw to Hickman. to England and to Haynes. Through to Holden. Clayton once again. And in moves Broadman to Miss Charlton. And Brown was very lucky he wasn't injured then. Broadman tried to hook the ball in with his foot. Throw to England being taken by Leggett. No Doherty calling for it. Doherty, number four. That's Hayden, leaving it. Flowers coming up very quickly, beaten by Doherty, and now it's Collins. And just a wee bit faster on the ball than Scotland. And Broadbent to Douglas. Corner kick to England. Douglas with the corner. Holden. Holden must have run 50 yards in to get that ball. And Douglas walked down by Caldo, free kick to England. Free kick to England, taken by Douglas to Charlton. And a corner to England. And Scotland, no doubt, shattered that they got away with that. Dead shot, Charlton missing such a sitter. Corner to England being taken by Douglas. And it's Hep who gets it there. Stated for the throw for England to Broadbent. Douglas. Of these moves breaking down because the players, when they turn quickly, are just finding it difficult to keep their feet. Right, Leggett for Scotland, Dick streaking down the middle, and that's hands by right. The linesman flag very, very quickly. So, free kick to Scotland. Free kick to Scotland being taken by Doherty. Broadbent. Douglas. 
David McCoy. Not the spectators getting rested in the way Scotland are keeping the ball close, but possession of the ball means everything in football, you can't blame it for good. Now the referee has penalised Howe for the original charge on her, despite the fact that the play went on, nobody knew he had them. So it's a free kick to Scotland. And just the fingernails of Hopkins saved England then. It's out of a hold of Douglas. Right across to Orman. To Dick, that's a pass he loves. And a lovely save by Hopkins. Now Broadbent. Charlton. To Holden, but bad one. No hope of Holden catching that. Very nice at right back, getting it to Charles. Getting it back from Holden. Haynes to Holden. To Haynes. Willing they cover that shot by Brown. Very fine shot of Haynes too. Taken going the wrong way. A mistake by Collins and Evans getting him out of trouble. Clayton. Holden. Cross to Haynes, to Broadbent, and again it's Evans saving Scotland, and now up to Foreman, the man who's come back to big time football after breaking a leg three times, over to her. Back to Foreman. Holden. Clayton to Flowers. Charlton. And another fine save by Brown, but it's to Broadbent. And it's David Mackay getting it clear, but back now to Broadbent. Holden, Evans, Clayton out of Broadbent again, and the pressure's really on Scotland now. And Davy Mackay to Orman, and Doherty helping it on to Leggett and Scotland come away. Herds unmarked on the right wing, and a lovely tackle by Shaw, to number 10, Haynes. Back to Shaw, it's very well to keep that ball. Haynes. And David Mackay up to Doherty. And throw to England. Broadbent, Clayton, and off goes Douglas, and there's Douglas, and a lovely goal by Charlton, what a magnificent goal by Charlton, a goal that even the Scots would cheer. And so, after 60 minutes play, England take the lead. The brilliant goal made by Broadbent and Douglas and scored by Charlton. And so, we're not going to have the first goalless draw since 1872. And 
Foreman is offside. Holden to the corner to Douglas. Douglas. Holden. Douglas. It could have been a very, very naughty one. Now Foreman. Taken to a Haynes to Howe. into England for well on top now. So to Scotland, his forward line doesn't seem to be able to slip into gear at all. Orman. Charlton It's by Calder Evans and Douglas is rolling in agony on the floor One can only hope that it's not his old injury Douglas Blackman Rovers who's had a long time out of the game this season because an injury Douglas all right, probably a spot of crack. No, Douglas is going off, so England now 10 men, but it shouldn't be very long before Douglas is back, and the game restarts with a dropped ball. Struck at that ball before it had bounced. Rodman stopped by David Mackay. Plus Collins. They begin to dick. Another Collins. How get it clear? Calvo. To Dick. Clayton to Broadman. 20 minutes gone, England leading by one goal to nil. Lovely one to hold it. Hold it. Charlton and Evans coming clear with it. Through to Clayton. And Douglas has come back onto the field now. Signal from the referee, so England back with 11 men and leading by one goal to nil. Midway through the second half. And the Scottish defence getting a little uncertain sometimes now. A lot of pressure being put on this Scottish defence because the Scottish forwards seeming capable of keeping up an attack for any length of time against the England defence. How to Clayton. Douglas, but 
Up goes the flag, it's a throw to Scotland. Into David Mackay. Orman. And that older thing, an outside left way back there, playing right back. David Mackay with the throw for Scotland. Holden to Douglas. Broadbent to Holden. Charlton. Shaw. Charlton. Haynes. Now right. Clayton, Powell. That's one way of relieving the pressure. Ahead to Dick Leggett in the middle, unmarked. A bad pass from Dick. And now it's Clayton. Broadbent. Docker. Hold it. Number 11. A bad one from Flyers now. Her. Collins. Orman. Leggett. Dick. Heard. Collins. Now Haynes is back with the England defence. Twenty minutes left for play. England leading by one goal to nil. Hold it. Through to Charlton. they can't say that Billy Brown in the Scottish goal hasn't earned his match fee this afternoon and Douglas F for to Collins to Doherty Foreman Dick To Holden, Charlton outside left, Douglas is the centre forward. Haynes, Charlton, who is offside. We kick up to Doherty. A legger. Doherty. Orman through to Dick, he's got a marvellous chance. No kick to England. by Clayton out to Douglas. Now Charlton. Holden. Haynes coming. Wants to help him. And that side footed pass was meant for Haynes but only found David Mackay. But Leggett. Leggett, Dick, but he won't reach it, and it's 
to go to the to England after Clayton. Ah, how? David Mackay, Doherty. Leggett. Still not enough snap about the Scottish play. by Holden, free kick to Scott. Free kick taken by Ducky Mackay. Right. Out from Shaw to Holden, Charlton, and a throw to Scott. Another throw to Scotland taken by Doherty into Leggett and Collins. Leggett. Goal kick to England despite the fact that the Scots are starting to fling their tammies into the air. Goal kick to England. Haynes to Broadbent. Away goes Charlton, there's Charlton. Haynes making ground, getting in the middle. Broadbent. Now Holden. Number nine, Charlton. David Mackay. Dick. Holden beating Collins to it. Now Collins has got a chance. Still that vital fraction of a second wasted allowing the English defence to form up again. The lines were I think flanked for a foul by Collins on shore, but the referee's given it the other way. Quarter of an hour left for play. England needing one mil as Doherty takes the free kick for Scotland. And a lucky lead off for England. Now Orman with a chance. And a corner kick to Scotland. Bad mistake by Hopkins. Orman with the corner for Scotland. Now Collins. Out that to a Holden. Holden to Charlton, Broadbent's calling for it, there's Broadbent, a brilliant move, and it's a goal kick to Scott. Lovely breakaway by the three England forwards, Holden, Charlton and Broadbent. Goal kick to Scotland out to Doherty, now Duncan Mackay to Davy Mackay. Haynes Brilliant pass by Haynes A complete reverse pass Hitting the defence on the wrong foot Number 11 Holden Doherty with a throw from Scotland into a herd. Charlton forward to Haynes. Broadbent. Lovely one from Broadbent to Holden. Back to Haynes. Out to Orman. Bad 
take by White. It's and Retro pass. Number 10, Hayes. Number 9, Charlton. Two to Broadbent. Holden. Deciding to take part in an attack. Number 11 and Holden through to Charlton. And a great save by Brown. And even the England forwards are falling. Brown and told his club Dundee that he'd like to transfer to England. I should imagine on his form today quite a few English clubs would like him to come to England. Monarchy to England being taken by Holden. Bad one. So to England. Flowers to Holden. Neither are there players taking up position as quickly as England do. Ten minutes left. England leading by one goal to nil. It's a throw in to Scotland. David Mackay to Dick. Clayton. Douglas, Doherty, Davy Mackay, Doherty, Ormond, and there's Hurl and the goal kick to England. Charlton, number nine, to Broadbent. To number 11, Holden. Now Charlton, Haynes, and Evans. Leggett, beaten by Holden. Shaw. Number 10, Haynes, and Evans quickly on the scene. Throw right to England. Now Broadbent, number 8. Short, Charles, number 9. Douglas, who's flagged offside. Free kick to Scotland. Now Leggett, beaten by Flowers, but there's Doherty, out to Foreman. To Dick, and the goal kick to England. Up 
seconds for the goal kick for England. Mark Clayton. How? Number eight, Broadbent. Charlton. Douglas. Holden has gone into centre forward position. Out to Dockley. Orman. Hey, Vaz. Neatly cut off by Duncan Mackay. Now to Collins. Broadbent to Charlton. Douglas is in the centre forward position. Holden's beginning to cut in. Epp very quick to make ground there. David Mackay. Broadbent to Haynes, number 10. Now Leggett. David Mackay, Orman, Doc, Collins, and put a Billy Wright to pick that ball back. Kick to England. David Mackay bringing down Haynes. How was the free kick for England? Five minutes left for play. England one goal to nil in the lead. Leggett. Cross to Orman. How to Haynes. Yeah. And Dockett to Collins. Dockett in. Orman moving into the middle. Now David Mackay. to England. Clayton back to Howe. minutes left now England leading by one goal to nil but that's heard to Dick but how they're covering right magnificently Charlton flowers to Holden Haynes, but that was telegraphed too, too well, and it's David Mackay coming clear. And another bad pass. So many of Scotland's passes have gone astray. Powell forward to Clayton. Broadbent. Oh. 
corner kick. No, the referee has taken the linesman's signal, who is linesman right on the spot, has given a goal kick. David Mackay, in that telegraph pass, intercepted by Howes and Clayton. Caldo, number six, David Mackay. to England who will lead by one goal to nil with a minute to go so it looks as if Billy Wright has celebrated his 100th cap by leading his team to victory and Charlton and nobody there for that centre but a throw to Scotland Doherty Caldo Doherty Through to Broadbent, to Charlton or Brown, and a free kick, I think the referee has given, and uh, Brown, the Scottish goalkeeper, injured, if he hadn't made that death-defying dive, it would have been two goals to nil for England. Certainly Bill Brown, the Scottish goalkeeper, deserves the round of applause he's getting. And nice Doherty with a free kick for Scotland. Will be full-time any second now with England leading one goal to nil. Hold it. Flowers with a throw for England. And the final whistle has gone. England have won by one goal to nil. So Scotland, who haven't beaten England since 1951, have failed again. And the two captains there together. Scotland have been beaten again. And all the Scottish players coming up to Billy Wright to congratulate him. 100th cap and leading his team to victory. So in 76 internationals between the two countries, England have now won 27, Scotland 31. 1951 when Scotland last won, winning here three goals to two. England have now won six and two have been drawn. And so the final result, England won, Scotland nil. <laughs>